welcome back to another video so in the previous video i have told you how you can use a router and how you can change your url based on your component so in this video i am going to explain you how you can use a uh, mat spanner okay so this is spanner is like as a uh, normal one so just i will show you so i will tell you what we are going to achieve here is so for example if i'll add this one simply and then you come here this loader is coming right so this is a uh, simple no clue no reason it it will rotate always correct so i will make as a one service that service will be usable for your entire application based on your data load and all okay so that we are going to achieve and i will show you continuously how it will rotate it is working or not so you should not do that way so i i will tell you what should be do and what you can avoid it okay so once you will use that one so based on your data load for example if any data supposed to be load for a fraction of second your loader will be visible else it will be got hide so those conditions we are going to apply it over here okay let's start so first we have to create a uh, one component and one service so let's go inside this folder so we'll generate one component here this is asking in my case in your case it might not be as okay not a issue okay the component has got created so i will create a service inside this folder only if you want you can create anywhere not a issue so i'll create one service will create one service as a loader so let me remove this extra file it's not needed actually it will keep not a issue if we are removing that is also not a big deal okay so what we will do we will come to here and we will paste this in the html okay so this one i will paste it in inside the div i will remove it later uh, i will tell you what reason i am keeping over here okay this error is coming since i have skipped the import right so we have to import our load component here loader component so now this error is gone right so now what you have to do here is we have to create one variable and that will be as a behavior subject change okay so what we will do we will type as a loading okay we will make as a variable loading so that will be the behavior subject chain as a boolean so i will check the null condition as well so this is fine now now i will add a construction a constructor and i will tell you what is the use of it okay let it be right now now we have created that loader service right in this loader service we have to check here as well to so okay i will explain one by one let me go so i will make as a one variable here is loading if it is loading then behavior subject that will be boolean and equal to new object of it behavior subject boolean and then i'll make it 
it as a false okay let's look good so now what we have to do here is we'll create run function here inside this one we will check the okay so we'll check is uh, is loading what is the value of it then we will make as a true and false okay so when it will become as a so so it will become as a true so and for the height this dot is loading next value will set as a false so what does mean i will tell you so once your see we will call from this our component okay this component will call to uh, this service so this service first this service will get call then whatever the value we will get as a true and false that will return is loading is loading value will come to this place right so what we have to do here is to get the value of is loading to loading we have to use inside the constructor as a loader service i will add it what we have to import our loader service here to get the is loading value here correct so what i will do so this dot loading equal to this dot loader service dot is loading so whatever the value we will get so that i will assign to is loading so this is loading value i will add in the ng if condition so what will happen i will explain ng if condition ng if condition what what see for example you got some value so that condition based on that condition we will show the spanner okay the loader will be visible based on this so what we'll do we'll make and then now if you'll go to ui so this is that because in the html we have added this one right so this one I will remove it okay so now once it will get refreshed I think it will go off so now your loader is not there right okay let's start to achieve our requirement so now if we will go to HTML we will add uh, in the component uh, sorry in the HTML what we have to do here is we have to add here our loader to make as a visible in the all the cases in the entire application so this app uh, you know I told in the previous video this is comes from the selector this is a selector name this is what I have used in the HTML if you go here same name I have used so once you have imported in the app uh, component so it will be the applicable because your app component always will part of your entire application this is a system default correct so now what will happen uh, always it will get call I will I will show you how it is getting called okay so now now if you go to UI see this is getting rotated right so this is always rotating so now this behavior it's not uh, looking like what need to be done so why it is happening if you'll go here where it is loader.html so we have to do a async so we will sync the value of it so now you can see the difference let's load it once again now it is not visible right see what does mean uh, we are not making always true okay in the based on the condition we will get some value so that value will get seen then it will be visible 
so now this loader will visible based on your loading condition if it is fast it will not be visible and if it is slow so you can observe that uh, your loader is working this will work like in this way it will work since you are using your loader here so your loader is applicable inside the application now the second part here is if you want to show the same uh, loader here what we will do we will create one button okay the same loader now it is not visible right we want to see okay that loader here so what we will do we will add spanner as a button Winner is a button, then I will take this button to my tries button. Okay, I will make as a one clickable function that will be so loader, yeah, something like that. That I will call here. let me add here itself so here what we have to do here is here we have to import our component okay so I'll make as a loader itself that will be loader component so what we'll do so we'll take the loader value this dot loader dot loading dot next value is true okay so let's check now Okay, we are getting some errors. Let's see in the console or okay, loader component. If we use in the other component, now we have to provide provides okay the details of it so in the provider we have to add this one so now we have uh, this button right so once you will click this one your spanner will be visible see So this is how it works if you want to fix this one uh, so in the center side so that one also you can achieve not a issue so for now I just shown you how you can use a loader if you want to make a, a center you have to do as HTML CSS okay so if you want those one as well so you can mention in the comments so I will try to help you out on that as well to make it center and uh, that will be visible see I, I will show you in my case I have my portfolio okay you can see I have a loader okay you have seen yeah if you have not observed I will show you once again see this loader is there so I was using as a percentage of loading and my loader looks like as a different color so this one I have customized okay so if you'll go here again if you load see these are the data so once the data will get load the loader will be visible else it is not visible right if you'll go inside this one let me log in so once it is get login you will get access inside the application Let's, let's change to English. So, if 
will go inside this one we are having a spanner here right you can see this is rotating with a certain time so i have set time limit for this one this is how my loader is working and same loader i have shown you how it is working in your case in the day mode this color is different if you'll see this is how it looks and in our case the loader looks like this one so this one is the system default by angular and this is the customized one as per my uh, look and feel i made it like this okay okay that's it for the day thank you so much bye